sorry about the weird lighting, but yeah, it's alternately dark yet bright because of the snow. So yeah. Everybody, we have this outside. <laughs> it's actively snowing, been snowing. We got, I don't know, about an inch or so overnight, not a whole lot. And it looks like it started to melt. And then Mother Nature was just sort of, ah, it's, can you even see that? I don't know if you can. Yeah, actively snowy again. So anyway, Bob is taking a shower. And when he's done, we will put our cleats on and go for a walk. No, I'm not afraid to walk in the snow. Driving in the snow, different issue. Walking, it's not a problem. <laughs> um, okay, so this is what we're walking in. It's about 30, what was it, 33 oh, degrees? What are these? Mm, these coyote are like coyote print. Tracks, co probably coyote or dog. Wiley. Wiley Coyote? No, I bet it was Wiley. Coming from the uh, bushes, coming from the, uh, from the forest. So anyway, Mr. Bob's got his big boots on. I've got the cleats on my shoes. We're going to go get some steps in. It's about, I don't know, 33 degrees or so. I watched this 30. 30. No, oh, well, it's cold. Anyway, we're going to get some steps in and then go back in the house and get under blankets and yeah <laughs> so anyway we'll see what we can see it's awful pretty outside it is all right i'll be back Monday morning, December 27th. Yes, I wanted to say March, but it's not March. It is, do I know what time it is? 10.58 a.m. I have been upstairs listening to my friend Leslie's new video that she posted where she's working on a journal and chatting to the camera about where she's been off of YouTube for a couple of years. Um, and working on finishing my 2021 sketchbook. It's my goal this week to get it finished. Um, I already have prepped a new one for next year, already done. Um, and I already finished my daily doodle sketchbooks and they're already done and filed in the boxes in the other room. Uh, for those that don't know what I'm talking about, all my finished sketchbooks and reference books I want to keep but don't refer to all the time are in one of our guest rooms upstairs. And there you go, like, yeah. That whole thing is full of art stuff. I know, right? Oh, and in case you see that over my shoulder, does that bring back memories for anybody? Yes, it's not plugged in. Although as far as we're aware, it probably works, but it's probably full of dust bunnies. So it's not being plugged in unless somebody can come clean it out. I don't want to start a fire. Anyway, um, upstairs working on that and social media stuff. Finished my coffee. Chatted with dad, forgot to tell him some funny stories which I might call him back to tell him. Uh, anyway, my brother and his new wife will be here at about two. I think they're spending the night. We have instructions to call dad when they get here. Not sure why, but okay. Uh, Bob is outside setting off the ring every two minutes because he is de-icing, de-snowing the car and driveway again. Um, oh crap, I have to do dishes. Yeah, anyway. Um, gotta do dishes, need to do something with this. Uh, anyway, I'm going to take care of all that. I'll be back. Yeah, you see that? It's snowing. It's just after 9 p.m. My brother and his wife, Grace, are here. They're spending at least the night with us, maybe more than that. Um, it is snowy again. Uh, the street looks like that. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, Grace and Mike are early risers, early to bed, early to rise, right? So uh, Grace is a teacher. So anyway, they are headed off to bed. Bob and I are going to stay up a couple more hours because we are 
not early risers. <laughs> but it's snowing again and I wanted to come out and get some pictures. It's just like, see that? Yeah, we're, we're in for a few days of this, so it's gonna be interesting. Anyway, all right, I'm gonna go see what I can see in the backyard, take a few pictures, and then I need to post today's artwork to social media, so I did it early, so gotta get that done. I'll be back. Good morning, everybody. It's Tuesday morning, December 28th. Yes, I wanted to say March again. I don't know what the deal is. Anyway, it is a winter wonderland outside, as you can see. Kind of walking slow because a little worried it's a little icy and it is um gotta get the mail though yesterday we didn't get the mail and we didn't get any garbage delivery our pickup yeah we brought ours in late last night anyway my brother and his wife are still here and grace my sister-in-law wants to do some shopping today so i think we're going to go do that we might get some breakfast. I think we're gonna go. No mail. I'm guessing he couldn't get down here, so I'll mark it no mail. Um, anyway, um, I think we're gonna go get breakfast while we're out. I do think we're gonna go do dinner while we're out. A dad is coming down and they are taking him with them back to California. Um, which was all gonna happen tomorrow, but I think they're doing it a day early because of this stuff on the road. So anyway, that's what I know at the moment. I need to go check on where my mail is at. My guess is too much of the black ice on the road and they couldn't get down here yesterday. That's what I'm thinking anyways. That's why we didn't get garbage pickup yesterday. So, all right, I'll be back. Wednesday morning, December 29th, 9 a.m. straight up. Don't get excited. I'm in, front of, in front of the computer. It's the only way I know. Anyway, my dad and brother and his wife and my and Bob are all off at the local mom and pop donut shop picking up some donuts for breakfast. I stayed home to get some stuff done. I started a load of laundry. Called the post office. Where's my mail? <laughs> So it was a combination of weather and staffing shortages. I'm guessing <clears throat> COVID, right? So anyway, they said they got it all cleared up and the mail should be here today. All caught up. We'll see if that actually happens. I'm not gonna hold my breath. Anyway, after everybody gets back and they have their donut and some more coffee, um, those who want to will go walking. And um, I think this morning, dad is here overnight and my brother and his wife are here for a few more hours and I think they're gonna to try to work on Bob's Barracuda and get the steering column in this morning. Um, so I think that's a thing. So it might just be Grace and I that go walking, we'll see. And uh, yeah, I have to, I thought, I thought last night, cause I had one of those just menopausal nights where you can't sleep cause your brain won't turn off. Y'all know what I mean, I know you do. Anyway. I'm gonna make myself a little reference card with um, pen and ink shading ideas, like just basics, nothing um, too involved. Um, because I get it, you get into the habit of just doing, say, cross hatching, and then you forget about any of the other ways to um, shade your pen and ink drawings before you watercolor. I have this really good book called Pen and Ink. Um, and it's by Walter Foster. And there's a lot of different ways in the book of shading drawings. I'm gonna make myself a little like um, 
reference card this morning. I'm probably gonna make make one and then photocopy it on my printer and then um, have one up here and one downstairs. So yeah, because you know you get in the habit of something. Oh, maybe I'll just copy this page. <laughs> So you get in the habit of just doing, say, the line work, and you forget about all the other ways there is to shade something. So I want to make myself a little reference card. Um, yeah, so I'm going to do that this morning. This is a good book to pull ideas out of. So I'm going to do that. That's on my project. That's my main project today. Because we're not going anywhere. We need to get go grocery shopping at some point. So that'll be a thing. Um, but it won't be until after Mike and Grace leaves for sure. And I think if we can get by with what we have until tomorrow after they're going to be back to pick dad up tomorrow and they're taking dad to California. So I think if we can get by until all that gets done, we'll just wait. But we'll see. All right. That's it for the minute. I'll be back. It's been a busy morning. So I was upstairs. I almost forgot I had a second video go live this morning, so by sharing that all over my socials, Grace is having problems with her MacBook, and so she's going to go to the gym and take a little break from it, and then she's going to probably have to call Apple support when she gets back. Meanwhile, the guys are working on Bob's Barracuda, so I'm going to sneak my way into the garage. I was thinking they had the garage door open, but they don't, so I'm going to sneak my way into the garage and get some footage and or photos because Bob's Barracuda has her own Instagram, so... Anyway, let's get some stuff for that. My brother and his wife Grace are off to see some friends about a half an hour away. They're going to spend the night there. They'll be back in the morning to pick up my dad and they're going to take him to California with them um, for about a week or so. In the meantime, hi. hi! We're just eating up leftovers and we do need to go grocery shopping but we're going to try to wait and do it tomorrow after everybody leaves. I have to do a load of laundry. I'm gonna finish my sketchbook. You know what, I'm okay to just relax on the couch. It's been a busy two weeks with Christmas and family stuff and stuff I can't talk about. It's okay, I'm fine, but just stuff, lots of stuff. So anyway, hopefully my mail's here, maybe, I don't know. All right, I'll be back. Still no mail, although the postmaster said that we would get mail today, we still have no mail. Yeah, I'll be back. everybody it is thursday morning 30th. december 30th i almost said january it's not january not yet um it's 10 o'clock a.m straight up we are headed out carefully and slowly to the shops this part looks icy a little bit a little bit a little slushy um, but we have to go to the grocery store
So we got all our errands done, sort of. Yeah. Thanks to the broken supply chain and stuff, and it being the holidays, there were a few things we couldn't find. So we had to make substitutions at the store and or just give up the ghost and order from Amazon when we got back. So we did that. Um, <laughs> we had some lunch, got everything put away. Now we're gonna try to catch up on our lack of step count in the last week or so and go do some walking because yeah, we haven't done a lot of that. <laughs> it's also not icy. I don't know if you all could hear what he said, but it's not raining out, it's not sewing, snowing, and uh, yeah, it's also not icy. So we're gonna go carefully, because it is a bit slippery, but we're gonna go get some steps in and see what we can see. I'll be back. It is New Year's Eve, December 31st. It is 11.21 a.m. Uh, the kids are all coming over um, tonight for dinner and we'll stay up till probably just past midnight. Um, trying to print a wish list from Mouse Loft. Now Mouse Loft is a UK based company that does mini cross stitch kits. That's what they specialize in. I usually order them from them in California. I had a couple of stitching shops that carried their products, but in Oregon, since we moved, I was just starting to investigate st um, stores that might have it um, when the pandemic hit. And I did order some things directly from Mouse Loft and I'm working on those. I did the one last night of the little VW bus. Hold on, I'll get it. Um, this one. Isn't that cute? They're really little, see? Um, and I've done, uh, in the drawer, I have a seahorse from them, which is, I think, an older one. Um, I don't know if there's, there's other embroidery kits in here, but I don't think there's any more of the mouse loft ones. Anyway, I'm looking to um, not only work on the ones I have, but maybe order a few more, only I'm having trouble getting any UK companies that will ship this way because of the pandemic, so. If y'all have any ideas or you're watching it on the air in the UK and you have a retailer that carries mouth loft and you are willing to go pick some up for me, I'll send you my wish list. <laughs> uh, anyway, so, um, and I'll put their website address down below. Y'all can check it out. It's nice to just have a little sort of mini art project you can take with you that, you know, you've got all the parts for. The kits are really literally only this big. It has everything included except scissors. Yeah, anyway. All right, so, and I've already wrapped up a Etsy order that I'll deliver, I'll take to the post office on Monday for delivery. Um, and the house is ready to go otherwise. So I think we're gonna just stay home and be quiet and I'm gonna have some lunch in a bit and yeah, celebrate New Year's. I'll be back. I got one of these gigantic blanket things for Christmas. I ordered it for myself. Anyway, hold on. I don't think it's supposed to touch the floor unless you're, what does my new sister-in-law call me? Oh yeah, tiny, <laughs> AKA short. My friend, Leslie McGrath, she's really tall. This wouldn't touch the floor on her, but hold on, I'll show you. Uh, there we go. So, can you even see the floor? Like it's big like this, it has a tie. There's loops right here. I didn't put the tie on. It's like wearing a blanket. Hold on. You still can't see, hold on. 
So, yeah, so <laughs> I don't think it, but that's okay. So when we have the cold snowy days, I'm gonna be nice and toasty warm. But right now we're gonna be having New Year's Eve with the family later, probably isn't a good way to greet guests. So I'm gonna go downstairs and like fix this up and take this off. I'll be back. Okay, oh my God, I got another um, um, bag alteration done, a drawing bag. I got a second one of my black bags in a different print to use for my gel pen drawings and I need to sew an elastic pocket on the outside. And so I did that. I'll show you in a minute when we go downstairs. Um, I also did, filmed a journal flip through of my two main 2021 sketchbooks. And um, that is going up on both the public channel and the Patreon channel. The patrons get a talky blathering version and you all over on the public channel only get this bed through version, sorry. Um, I also took my sort of year of my life journal uh, that I used to do a lot more of these. This is what I used to do to document my journey and things. Now I'm really mainly drawing, but anyway, I had bits and pieces stuffed in there. And so I pulled them all out and sorted them. Um, is it everything? No, but it's most things. And you know what? Um, anyway, so I got one of my so two sewing projects was done, which was the bag. I got this laid out so I can catch up on that next week, if not this weekend. I've also got some more classes to do for Fe the Felix Scheinberger course I'm doing, which is what that stack is there. And in the meantime, I'm going to finish edit the editing these videos and get them loaded to the two YouTube channels. And, um... Then we'll, we'll, we'll see where I am after that. And yes, I curled my hair and like did a little bit of makeup and things. So anyway, all right, that's it for the minute. I'll be back. All right, so there's a particular bag from Amazon that I'm really enjoying for my daily art stuff. Well, there's a couple bags, but the one in particular, you've all seen, it looks like this. And I, atta I attached some elastic to the outside to hold my sketchbook and then all my parts fit inside the bag. So I have a second one in a different color, and that would be this. So I got some matching elastic. This one, because the sketchbooks are thinner, will hold two. And so now we're all good, yeah. The other bag I like is a little bit bigger because it holds my other daily, draw daily drawing stuff, which is significantly bulkier. And at least at the moment, it won't fit in here. So that's okay. Also have a little small, my favorite cosmetic bag, which I've shown on the channel before. It has all my um, downstairs stitching stuff in it, little small cross stitch kits and stuff like that. Anyway, I'm gonna put the lunch dishes away and I think Bob's working on the Barracuda, getting some stuff done before um, the New Year's celebration. And yeah, anyway, I'll be back. everybody. Yes, I'm still in my pajamas. Yes, I'm not very awake. Yes, I just found a glaringly obvious huge editing error in the messy journal or video that just went live. So I guess I'm starting my morning off fixing that. Happy New Year. Okay, I think we maybe have the house back together. So we are now going to take crazy pants for a walk. Um, so she's all ready to go for a WALK. <laughs> It's 28 degrees outside, so we're layered up, and we're gonna get that done, but the house is all clean and caught up, and I think we're gonna let the Christmas decorations go until tomorrow, and then tomorrow we'll start taking everything down. She's... Sit.
11.30 at night. I know, right? I am making sure things are turned off, locked up, all this stuff, because we are gonna go to bed. <laughs> it's late. It has been a busy week, as it always is for the holidays. And we, while we love seeing everybody, I also enjoy the peace and quiet. <laughs> I sat and did a few sketches today in my new journals for the new year, and that was great. And we got a few things done. We also babysat Lily. So um, there's some, uh, if you're watching this, you saw the footage of that. So it's been a fun time, but we're ready to get back to regular life and yeah, stuff. So anyway, I'm going to go to bed. I hope you've all had a great week and happy new year, a wonderful holidays, whichever ones you celebrate. Um, don't forget to stay safe, stay healthy, stay creative, go out and do something nice for yourself because you deserve it. And I'll see you next week. Bye guys. Mm -hmm.